Welcome to Lesson 7 and 8, uh, Service Design and Queuing. These two lessons, we're going to talk about queuing theory. Queuing, or the word queue, is a British word. Uh, and queuing means uh, lining or lines. Queue means a line. And so we're going to study how waiting lines operate. Uh, all of us interact at some point uh, in our lives with waiting lines, whether we're going to the grocery store, going to the bank, uh, waiting in traffic to go through a traffic light. Uh, it's a very common uh, process. And it turns out that they're random processes, the inter interaction of two random processes, two independent random processes. There are arrivals. Uh, if you think about a grocery store, uh, customers arrive into the grocery store, uh, choose a checkout line, wait in that checkout line, and then eventually, uh, is, is when their turn arrives, they interact with the checkout clerk, the server, uh, who checks out their groceries. And the amount of time that that checkout takes uh, depends on the types of groceries that the customer has selected. So there's, in that, uh, that time, uh, is a random time. It's a random variable. So it's the interaction of arrival processes, which is random, and an interaction with the service processes, with, which is random. And no matter how efficient uh, a, a process is, it turns out that because of the, in, the randomness in those two systems, uh, waiting lines can be created. And so managers want to study these waiting lines and determine uh, what's the best configuration in terms of number of servers, number of waiting lines, and so we're gonna we're gonna see how uh, that's analyzed. Uh, this is a very practical uh, set of tools that we're gonna use, and hopefully before the end of end of these lessons, you'll see uh, exactly uh, how to analyze the, these, what sort of information is needed, and what sort of information that you can learn because managers can use these mathematical tools to determine how many servers uh, are needed, how many serving lines are needed, and they can do this uh, virtually uh, through the mathematics. Uh, then the mathematics will tell them which is the most e efficient way to operate their, their service lines in order to meet a, a service standard that may be specified. So uh, in addition, we'll look at the cost and how we could uh, do a cost analysis uh, of these waiting lines to so not only determine how efficient they are, but how cost effective they are. So a very uh, interesting process. Uh, all of the this is out of chapter five. The readings you should see in the uh, uh, in the student notes, the class notes for the students that's in, on the administration folder. Um, but should be a really interesting and worthwhile class, something that should give you some insights into why, why you have to wait in lines. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in class for lessons seven and eight uh, for queuing theory or uh, service process uh, analysis.